Hey friends, Miss Becker here. I wanted to share with you one of my favorite first day of school stories. The title of this book is called First Day Jitters. And jitters are something that you have when you feel nervous. You feel all those butterflies in your tummy and you might feel a little nervous and scared. The author of this book is Julie Daneberg. The illustrator is Judy Love. Publisher, Charles Bridge. Look at that puppy, ready to go to school. First day jitters. Ooh, there's a lot going on there. I see a sleepy head that doesn't want to get out of bed. Sarah, dear, time to get out of bed, Mr. Hartwell said, poking his head through the bedroom doorway. You don't want to miss the first day at your new school, do you? I'm not going, said Sarah, and pulled the covers over her head. Of course you're going, honey said Mr. Hartwell as he walked over to the window and snapped up the shade. Even the dog's trying to get her out of bed. No, I'm not. I don't want to start over again. I hate my new school, Sarah said. She tunneled down to the end of her bed. Hiding under the covers. Doesn't want to go to school. How can you hate your new school, sweetheart? Mr. Hartwell chuckled. You've never been there before. Don't worry. You liked your other school, and you'll like this one. Besides, just think of all the new friends you'll meet. That's just it. I don't know anybody, and it will be hard. And I just hate it. That's all. What will everyone think if you aren't there? We told them you were coming. Oh, no. They're going to have to file a police report and put a missing person poster up. They'll be worried if she doesn't show up. They're expecting her. They will think that I am lucky and they will wish that they weren't home and that they were at home in bed like me. Mr. Hartwell sighed. Sarah Jane Hartwell, I'm not playing the silly game one second longer. I'll see you downstairs in five minutes. He had to get pretty stern. He had to tell her what to do. Sarah tumbled out of bed. She stumbled into the bathroom. She fumbled into her clothes. My head hurts, she moaned as she trudged into the kitchen. She walked very slowly, dragging her feet. Mr. Hartwell handed Sarah a piece of toast and her lunchbox. Ready to go for a good first day of school. They walked to the car. Sarah's hands were cold and clammy. They drove down the street. She couldn't breathe. Like those jitters are really making her nervous. And then they were there. I feel sick, said Sarah weakly. Nonsense, said Mr. Hartwell. You'll love your new school once you get started. Oh, look, there's your principal. 
Mrs. Burton. Sarah slumped down in her seat. Oh. She's trying to hide. Trying to get out of doing what she's got to do. Oh, Sarah! Mrs. Burton gushed, peeking into the car. There you are! Come on! I'll show you where to go. That's a nice principle. The principal is the one who's in charge of the whole school. She's the boss. She led Sarah into the building and walked quickly through the crowded hallways. Don't worry, everyone is nervous the first day, she said over her shoulder as Sarah rushed to keep up. There's a lot of kids at that school. When they got to the classroom, most of the children were already in their seats. The class looked up as Mrs. Burton cleared her throat. Class, class, attention please, said Mrs. Burton. When the class was quiet, she led Sarah to the front of the room and said, class, I would like you to meet your new teacher, Miss Sarah Jane Hartwell. It was the teacher who was nervous the whole time. I thought it was going to be the student that was nervous, but it turns out the teacher didn't want to go to school and was nervous to meet her new student. She had jitters. You know, it's normal to have jitters and to be a little afraid to start something new, but you have to be brave and try. Something I like to do when I feel a little bit nervous, I like to drink my jitter juice. <laughs> the jitter juice helps calm my nerves and makes me feel ready. If you have some jitter juice, go ahead and get some and have a sip. You'll feel much better and ready to take on the day. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you.